All right, guys, we are at the scare house today setting up animatronics. As you can see, we got Cotton Candy Dan over here. That other Nate guy on YouTube set him up. If you want to check that out, go over to his channel. But today I am going to be setting up this guy right here, the creepy towering clown. The very first time I ever saw the creepy towering clown, he was right alongside my favorite animatronic of all times, Hugs. And I'm going to be setting him up very shortly too. But let's go ahead and get started with this guy guy right here. Now this model that they just released for 2024 is a re-release. He is actually six and a half feet tall. Wait a minute. What? Look at this guys. My box says stands seven feet tall. Now I have seen other boxes that people have got this year where he was only six and a half feet tall and it says that on the box. Mine says seven feet tall. What in the heck happened with that? I am totally blown away by this right now. All right, regardless, let's go ahead and get him opened up. Wait a minute, we didn't take a look at the box. Stands seven feet tall at the tallest point. Animated body and mouth movement with creepy phrases. Yellow LED light up eyes look at the face on that guy. Let's turn this around here. Here's the side of the box right here. We got an awesome picture of the creepy towering clown right there. Turn it around to the back and we have creepy towering clown and there is his story right there. I will let you guys go to the website and read that for yourself. Wow, there's no price on there either. I honestly don't remember right offhand how much I paid for him, but here is the other side right here. And I love when they have a picture like this and it shows like this little three mark thing that indicates that he's talking. So back around to the front, there is the box. Now I could be wrong about that six and a half feet tall thing, but where would I have come up with that? Is it a Mandela effect? Anyway. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy out of here. Hmm, he is packed very strangely. We got his shoulders here. We got a random piece of foam. I don't think we need that foam, but you just never know. There's another one. Um, man, they got this stuff packed in here very strategically. I don't know why I did that. I guess it's because I really have always wanted to be a pirate. <laughs> we got more foam. Arr! Yet more foam. This is probably his legs. All right, let's see. Random squiggly piece. Arm. And this is one thing I was wondering about, guys. These hands here. They're very, very slender. The hands are very long and very slender. And I was wondering how thick those hands would actually be. I actually like them much more than I thought I would. So there's one. There's two. Man, everything is packed so perfectly in here. Like puzzle pieces. All right, this is... Metal pipes. We'll have to cut that open in a minute. We got apparently a chest piece. Hip hoop. Oh, here comes his head. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at the face on that. How do you even get this thing open? Oh, okay, I see. All right, look at this. Look. Look at the face on him right there. And look at the hairdo. He has like a grandma bun. That is hilarious. Power cord, mechanism. I'm running out of space. Gonna have to get a bigger warehouse. <laughs> we got his clothes. We got his giant shoes. Another piece of random foam. Instructions and the base. I think that's it. Okay, I think I have everything opened and unwrapped. Let me just double check these pieces, parts here. Shoes, foam, foam, arms, head, blah, blah, blah. So let's start with the base here. And I believe it goes like this. Then we gotta find B, which is these two. One there, one there. Enormo clown shoes. C and D, and C goes in the back. All right, D goes in the front. All right, then we need M and M. One on the back, one on the front. Now, everything goes south as soon as I say this when I'm setting up an animatronic, but this doesn't seem too bad so far. <laughs> E and F, 
E goes on the back. F goes on the front. Seems good so far. N and N. One on this leg. One on this leg. That means his butt is this tall right here. This guy is huge. All right, next up, pants. Cowl or whatever you call it. And here's his outfit. So we're going down over each leg. Get back up there. Okay. And down to there. And down to there. Next up, mechanism. All right. Next, that's the sensor. That probably goes to his head. That's already plugged in. These are always so difficult to read. So we have the sensor setting right here. We have the volume here. This is the power. That's for the step pad. And that's if you want to add an extra speaker to it. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, power adapter. And we're gonna feed that right down through his leg so it'll come out his foot. Okay, next up, hip hoop. And that goes like this. No, it doesn't. All right, I guess this part goes in the back. And then this part, the shoulders, up here. You can't always tell where these things go, like, like which part goes to the front, but the way that you know is that one of these little nibs is bigger than the other one. So one of them will not fit in one of the holes. There's a small one and a big one. And there's only one way it fits. Okay, next up, chest piece. Okay. Wow, this guy is super tall, guys. <laughs> the head. Let's shake out this hair first. I mean, it doesn't really look better. <laughs> He's supposed to be a creepy towering clown. Excuse me, creepy towering clown. You have some things in your do. All right, anyway, head goes up here, right? So, red to red, black to black. Ah, okay, we can't forget the sensor. That Velcro's right inside there so that it sticks out that little hole on the front there. Right under the ball. Okay, I think we got everything plugged in that we need plugged in. Let's pull up the clothes. Okay, I guess that's right. You are a tall drink of water. Left arm. All right, there's one. That is a creepy hand right there. Arm number two. There we go. Everything's plugged in now. Hmm, excuse me, sir, a piece of your hair on my shirt. The weird squiggly backbone, I guess it is. Right in there. Okay, that's very strange. So this is how that backbone thing looks, the weird squiggly thing. It hooks right into here, but there's nowhere else for this to hook inside here. So I guess that just acts as his spine and holds the shirt in place or the outfit in place to look like his spine. Yeah, I guess that piece just creates the illusion of a creepy bent over spine. How weird is that? What a weird looking dude. All right, last but not least, this thing that goes around his neck. And it also has little Velcro dots to Velcro onto his neck. One, two, all right, there's that. So that appears to be everything. Man, is he definitely creepy looking. Let's go ahead and get him plugged in here. I'm starting a new juggling act. I'll be the hand for one of you. And the head, and the foot, that's all any part will do. <laughs> He is so cool. So let me grab the measuring tape quick. I'm starting a new juggling act. I'll need a hand for one of you. And a head. And a foot. That's already part 
Yeah, he's seven feet tall, guys. I'm looking for someone to play hide and seek with. You go hide and I'll come find you. <laughs> Start running! Okay, let's just take a quick up close look at this guy. Look how creepy he looks. Oh my gosh, he is so awesome. Look at the way his face looks when his teeth are crunched, clenched like that. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so awesome. He's so super tall. And yeah, he is seven feet tall. This is what I was talking about with his backbone. Look at that creepy looking backbone. You can almost see the squiggle in that thing. And look at how he bends over. Oh my gosh. No wonder we love this guy. Creepy towering clown. I started in juggling him. I'll need a head for one of you. And a head. And a foot that's already parked will do. <laughs> Alright guys, well there he is, the creepy towering clown. This guy definitely is awesome, he's tall, and it blows me away that he ended up being seven feet tall, because if I'm remembering correctly, he's listed as six and a half feet tall on the website, and I have seen boxes that say six and a half feet tall. Creepy out. Yeah.